volunteer with different <coughs> organizations. But I have been studying domestic violence for the past six years. And I'm still lost in the subject. It's a very, very, very vast subject. It covers different aspects of life. So today I'm just going to talk about the main aspects of domestic violence. We're going to go to the definition of domestic violence, the statistics only related to UK, the causes of domestic violence, nature and impact, cost and solution if there is any. Domestic violence is defined as any incidence or pattern of incidences of controlling, coercive or threatening behavior, violence or abuse between those age 16 or over who are or have been intimate partners or family members, regardless of gender or sexuality. <coughs> if we further expand the definition of domestic violence, what is a controlling behavior? It is a range of acts designed to make a person subordinate and or dependent by isolating them from sources of support, exploiting their resources and capacities for personal gain, depriving them of the means needed for independence, resistance and escape, and regulating their everyday behavior. Coercive behavior is an act of patterns of acts of assault, threats, humiliation, and intimidation or other abuse that is used to harm, punish, or frighten their victim. Violence is the exercise or an instance of physical force, usually affecting or intended to affect injuries or destruction. And this definition also includes FGM and forced marriage, but we are not going to talk about this at this point. Domestic violence comprises of, but it is not limited to the following types of abuse. That is the psychological, physical, sexual, financial, and emotional. Unfortunately, we do not have any reliable statistics on the general incidence of domestic violence in the UK. And basically, it is because people don't want to talk about it. But from the data that we have, we know that one in four women and one in six men will be a victim of domestic violence in their lifetime in the UK. It's a bit surprising, but this is the actual figure. Two women a week are killed by current or a former partner, which is really sad. Last year, around 1.2 million women suffered domestic abuse. Over 400,000 women were sexually assaulted. These crimes are often hidden behind the closed doors, with the victim suffering in silence. Less than 25% who suffer abuse at the hand of their partner, and only 10% women who experience serious sexual assault reported to police. Still, every minute in the UK, the police receives a call from the public for assistance for domestic violence. This leads to police receiving an estimate of 1,300 calls a day and 570,000 calls each year. In 2011-12, police reported nearly 800,000 incidences of domestic violence. It accounts for about 10% of the emergency calls and has consistently accounted for between 16% and a quarter of all recorded violent crimes. There has been a 65% increase in the number of domestic violence prosecutions between 2005-06 and 2010-11. <coughs> and a correspondence 99% increase in the number of defendants convicted of domestic violence. As you can see in the graph, 5% um, of men and 7.3% of women suffered domestic violence, uh, suffered domestic violence in 2011-12. And we, if we look at the other one, 17% um, of men and roughly about 32.3% of women suffered domestic violence in their lifetime. There has been gender differences in domestic violence. Research so shows that more women than men are or have been victims of domestic violence. The difference between men's and women's domestic violence and the experiences is also different. Female victims of intimate partner violence experience more severe violence and control with more serious psychological consequences than did the male victims. The women are much more likely to be fearful of their partners. 
33% of the women who had experienced domestic violence did so four <coughs> or more times, compared with 17% of the men who just had one incidence of domestic violence in their whole life. Furthermore, when we talk about the people who had four or more experiences of domestic violence in their life, women were 89%. Intensity and severity of violence caused by men was more extreme and they are more likely to use physical violence, threats and harassment. Men's violence creates a context of fear and control. This is not usually for the women's violence. In one study, 40% of women had been in a violent relationship for five years or more and most of them were abused on a regular basis. The majority had experienced various kinds of abuse, often <coughs> from multiple preparators and often from other family members as well. What causes domestic violence? Before we talk about it, it's really important to know who is responsible for domestic violence. The abuser is always responsible. There is no excuse for domestic violence. The abuser has a choice to use violence for which he is responsible and for he, which he should be held accountable. Abusers do not have to use violence. They can choose instead to behave non-violently and foster a relationship built on trust, honesty,